Alrighty, how's everybody doing? So I wanted to show my fish tank to everybody and I wanted to start to do a little bit of videos there and there because I've been very interested in the hobby in the past two to three years now. So let's talk about the aquarium a little bit. The aquarium is a 75 gallon, four feet wide, I believe eight in, 18 inches, um, I guess, I guess four feet long, 18 inches wide and two feet tall. I bought it used, it used to be a saltwater aquarium and it came with some live rock, came with some rock, it even came with a 10 gallon swamp tank, which I cut in half and made something. Talk about that in a few. So I just wanted to show that there's quite a few fish in there, all types of different kinds. We've got a goldfish, his name is Boss, my very first fish. He actually started out in a 10 gallon tank and then I you know got more fish a couple more goldfish like him in a 10 gallon tank and I noticed that they weren't so happy so I got a 20 gallon tank these guys right here are cichlids electric brew or cardas and I have one female two males there is another male but um, the other male gets bullied, so he kind of hangs out. But the other male is a real sweetheart, so he's actually going to stay in this community tank. These two guys, the male and the female, is going to go in a predatory tank, which is trying to get established right now. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So, boss. So I ended up putting him in a 20-gallon tank. And then same thing again, just ended up getting more fish. I think I probably had maybe seven, eight fish in a 20 gallon tank, you know, goldfish. And I was like, okay, so I got me a 40 gallon tank. And I got pictures and videos and a few things there and there, just to start it all up. Here's my crayfish. These guys are always hungry. They always think it's feeding time. So I started with boss in a 10, 20, 40. And I had the 40 set up for quite a while, quite a while, but it was just a tank, 40 gallon tank. I believe I had maybe three goldfish in there. There's quite a, you know, variety of tetras. A couple, actually I had these loaches since then. These guys right here. And I had these catfish since then. Always had four, always had three. But now there's five. And I used to have a female, like this big. But that was a long time ago and she ended up getting this big and she ended up making it over my fence here which was a different design it was a little bit different and it's going to be a whole lot better in the future when i get everything i want to get but that's a different story i suppose we're talking about the goldfish talk about the goldfish so I had the goldfish and three of these guys, four of these guys, had a few of these small little tetras. And I had a whole bunch of the yellow ones right here, but they only live for so long. And I had them already pretty much adult size. And I had them for three years, maybe, you know, I've been in the hobby for a little bit over over three years now. And I had about eight of them. I think this is the last one that hasn't died. 
Like hasn't got old from old age. So, eventually, you know, I have my tank and everything. These guys are cool. Every time I show the light, they run away. They don't like the light. I like, what's the light doing? <laughs> Where's this guy at? Oh, there he is. My procrastinus. I had this guy when he was like, like the size of this, this wood. And now he's bigger than my hand. And he don't like the light neither. He really don't like the light. But here we can get a good picture of him. I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry. We just want to show how big you are. So he's, he's quite... He's quite big, and I know they get much, much bigger, so I'm going to eventually have to upgrade this tank. I really want to get a 125, six foot long, because I honestly cannot put anything bigger in my apartment. So I have this guy, I have a couple more goldfish, and I have a few of these fish in a 40 gallon tank. So, you know... I'm watching them and my goldfish is just not, you know, not happy, not swimming around, not like he is right now, you know, he's doing okay. Uh, he's the only one so far today because I actually took four goldfish, two were in this aquarium, so there were three in total. I took two out and two of them from a different aquarium and I took them to Valley Pets, awesome, awesome store here in Colorado Springs. Gotta check it out, good people. And... You know, the fish are healthy and everything, so they had no problem taking the fish. Anyways, in the 40 gallon, they weren't happy. So I ended up buying a 75 gallon tank and putting it all together and everything, and it seemed good. So I had this black moor goldfish, and he was massive, bigger than him, and he's pretty big. You know, he's a good six inches, seven maybe. And um, the other one was maybe a good solid eight, nine inches. He was massive. He really was. Big boy. Long, beautiful, beautiful tail. But for some reason, they weren't happy. You know, the water, you know, never gets hotter than, you know, room temperature. It's a room temperature aquarium. It does have a heater in there. Because I do have fish in here that do not like the cold water. So when it gets winter and the fish tank can actually fall below room temperature the heater will kick on it's only a 250 watt but for trying to keep it room temperature it's more than enough to keep this 100 volume gallon 100 gallon volume tank to room temperature to keep it at tropical temperatures you would want at least five watts per gallon which would I imagine would be 500 watts but I'm not trying to achieve this. So that's maybe in the future. So why are we doing this in the dark? I don't know, because I decided to do it now in the dark. <laughs> anyway, so I get this big tank and of course I'm excited. So I added another fish. I actually added two more goldfish. So I had a total of about four goldfish in the big tank because I reduced the numbers of goldfish in the 40 gallon tank to and then i got a bigger tank and made more fish you know put more fish in there of course but my fish weren't happy he would always be you know somewhere on the bottom the other one would be on the bottom too you know they just were never happy and i'm like i don't understand what am i doing wrong i have this really big filter here you know it's running and i ended up putting this filter on here too it wasn't set up like this this happened in the future but you know, it had the top on, you know, it, it moves, you know, more than enough gallons per hour. This is the 400, so you, you definitely know this one moves enough per, you know, it's meant for 75. So technically I would suppose I would only need one of these. And I had two. And they weren't just, they were never happy. Uh, I might have a video there and there to show you on my computer. But the inches were never happy. Like you can tell he's moving around, he's grazing the ground. He was my first fish. He went through he went through learning experiences with me, put it that way. He sure did. One time I was ciphering the water to change some water and his head got sucked 
stuck on the siphon hose and of course I was in the bathroom dumping out a five gallon bucket. And when I got back, half of his head, well not half, but you know, a big, it sucked in a lot of his head. And ever since that day, this side looks all pretty. Turn around boss, come on buddy. Come on buddy, you got this. There you go, and then this side has like, you see it, you see it on his eyeball there? Because it sucked it. Yeah, I feel bad for the guy, but it, it, it messed him up a little bit. But he definitely went through some learning experiences. And when I put that siphon hose in there, to tell you the truth, it happened again. But I was there to watch it. He was kind of swimming, and the siphon tube is here. He was kind of swimming, and then went bloop. And I was like, damn it, and I decided to uh, unplug it real quick. He was good. Not so bad like last time. And you know that the first time it happened, it took maybe a week for it to go back to normal. <laughs> it, it was interesting. But anyways. So I start feeling really bad for the fish and I actually started thinking about getting out of the hat, hobby. Out of the hobby. And um, I started looking on YouTube, started getting books and everything and I started finding out some really cool guys. And some really cool people out there who really know some stuff about filtration and fish and everything and I uh, have a couple shout outs to do out there for a few. Um, definitely Joey would be number one because if it wasn't for him I would most likely have been out of the hobby and this would have never been built so the fish was always laying on the ground the goldfish the tetras were kind of you know they were always you know good now they're really active they're super active always chasing each other around and having a good time but um yeah you know these guys right there are gorgeous fish yeah so these are blue electric acardas and they're actually peaceful fish so you can keep them in a community tank you just gotta make sure if you keep more than one in a community tank that you keep only one male to uh, I believe maybe a two to three female ratio so you would want one male to two females or even better one male to three females like you can see, they, they like each other, you know, they hang out. And the way you can tell if it's a male or a female, it's so hard to tell in the video, it really is. You just can't tell. I'll tell you right now, this one's the female. It's the dorsal fin is round. I mean, I know you can't tell. It's like almost impossible. But it is definitely round. On the male, here, this guy who's running away, if you look at his dorsal fin, which you probably will never ever tell by video it is pointy yeah you can see it it's a little pointy see how his tail is pointy and then hers is more rounded that yeah, looks pointy too yeah you, oh, there it goes more rounded you will have a more rounded tail on a female than you will on a male i mean a dorsal fin the dorsal fin the top fin it will be more rounded the top fin these guys more tetras hanging out on the bottom we got the loaches in the back. We got this big guy, he probably doesn't like the light. Anyways. So, I have a few videos on this. But after I built this, and got natural sand and live plants and a high quality plant light, filtration bed, mechanical and biological, and a wet and dry. And it just works beautiful. When I got that going, 30 gallon tank. All in all, to build everything you see with the lights and everything kind of get it rigged up, but it all works beautiful. And you turn it on, it works, you know. <laughs> I got two of them on there because it used to be, this plant used to be no taller than the hose. I mean, it used to be lower than the hose. Now it's growing above the hose. Same thing here, it's growing real nice. And um, yeah, so I just lost power, but I will continue talking real quick. And I wanted to say, because of Joey and all the awesome people on 